Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Honda debuts Honda Jet Echelon at NBAA Base 2023. Bombardier details EcoJet program. Our client investment management to acquire Hartzell Aviation. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Honda debuts Honda Jet Echelon at NBAA Base 2023. Honda has officially announced their new Echelon light jet, filling in the blank since they started discussing the program two years ago. I'm thrilled to introduce the Honda Jet Echelon, a new light jet bringing efficiency to night new heights. This is not just another light jet, this is a new milestone in our line and a critical path for our future The Honda Jet Echelon will be leading the next chapter Skyward Mobility, as well as a contributor to the 2050 vision focusing on safety and sustainability. Furthermore, it is a testament to our commitment to pushing the boundaries of what is possible in the aviation. Honda Jet Echelon will be a game changer in aviation. The Honda Jet Echelon will be designed for single pilot operation and non stop transcontinental flights. It brings a mid-side jet experience to a light jet, derived from Honda's human-centric philosophy. The Honda Jet Echelon will feature a premium space, providing the utmost comfort and convenience. And this name, the Honda Jet Echelon, truly defines this new light jet. Today's announcement marks a significant turning point, signifying the maturity of Honda Aircraft Company and the evolution of Honda Jet as a standout player in the aviation industry with a strong focus on safety and performance. The commercialization of the new light jet Honda Jet Echelon represents Honda's next chapter in Skyward Mobility and realizing a product plan. We truly believe Honda Jet Echelon continues a trend of the Honda aircraft. Company developing class leading and class transcending product to our customer and at the same time greatly contributing to Honda's vision. Throughout the corporate history of Honda, it has been a hallmark to develop original technology for the benefit of our customers and society. I see the commercialization of Honda Jet as a yet another positive demonstration that challenges the Honda spirit still exist today. Honda plans for the aircraft to carry a single pilot and 10 passengers, or two pilots and nine passengers, a maximum distance of 2,625 nautical miles, cruise at 450 knots, and reach a service ceiling of flight level 470. Pricing has not yet been announced. The jet's first flight is tentatively planned for 2026, and type certification to follow in 28. Coming up after the break, AOG Technic CFM Corp battle rages on. The future of USB charging power has arrived. Introducing new, ultra-fast charging TA360 USB chargers. Unlock the power of USB power delivery PD technology. Max power. multiple configurations, in-seat cabin, cockpit, and galley USB power, and a direct upgrade for all True Blue Power USB chargers, compatible with any USB electronic device. Easy to install, backed by the best. True Blue Power, the USB experts. Backcountry flying to us is our playground. For us, it's how we access the things we like to do. It's just our lifestyle. We exclusively use the, the Hartzell Voyager prop, and it's proved to be um, just a great combination for what we do. What it's doing, it's, it's helping us all have better performing airplanes. Man, it feels a lot better clearing trees by 50 feet versus 20 feet. I don't ever see myself not flying. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. AOG Technic CFM court battle rages on. 
United and Southwest Airlines were compelled to corrective action after confirming a number of engine parts supplied to the two air carriers by UK vendor AOG Technics were in fact counterfeit. AOG Technics is suspected of selling dubious engine parts to aircraft service centers and maintenance repair and overhaul facilities around the world. The company is presently under the scrutiny of international investigators. CFM International has to date discovered no fewer than 72 discrete instances in which AOG Technics sold aircraft engine parts with falsified documentation. Defendant Sentenced for Lying to FAA Noah Felice, age 71, was sentenced to one month behind bars for lying to the FAA. Felice was previously convicted at the conclusion of a December 2022 jury trial, during which evidence was presented implying he, in September 2017, had submitted an application for an airman medical certificate to the FAA. Felice falsely stated on subject document that he'd neither a history of criminal convictions nor was receiving medical disability benefits. Textron to add auto throttle to Citation M2 Gen 2. Textron Aviation will add auto throttles to its hot selling Cessna Citation M2 Gen 2 beginning in mid 2025. The system, which optimizes engine power, simplifies flight management, and increases overall operating efficiency, will reduce pilot workload and facilitate smoother, more predictable flight profiles, thereby improving the flight experience for aviators and passengers alike. Powered by a pair of 1,965 pounds thrust Williams FJ44 1AP turbofan engines, the M2 Gen 2 manages a maximum cruise speed of 404 knots and a range of 1,550 nautical miles. Chinese Aviation Authority Type Certifies Ehang EH216S eVTOL the Civil Aviation Administration of China has granted type certification to the EH-216S, an unmanned eVTOL multi-copter designed and manufactured by Ehang Holdings Limited, a Guangzhou-based Chinese developer of autonomous aerial vehicles. The certification authorizes, more or less, the EH-216S's utilization in commercial passenger carrying operations, a world first. CAAC issued the EH-216S type certificate to Ehang during an October 13, 2023 ceremony in Beijing. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Bombardier details Ecojet. Bombardier unveiled images of its Ecojet research project's second test phase to the attendees of NBAA Base 2023. The promising flight tests were conducted with an 18-foot-wide demonstrator and have generated important results, contributing to the advancement of this pivotal project. One of the things is a little known fact is that this program started around 15 years ago uh, when some engineers looked at the where we thought the market should be, what we thought could happen and explore the possibilities. You know, 15 years ago our objective was the same objective as it is today, which actually is to find a path to cut aircraft emissions by 50%. 50% through a combination of amazing aerodynamics, propulsion, and some other technologies. And today, that is still 100% where we are headed on this program. What's really important is that the blended wing body, we talked about it quite a bit uh, this time last year, we really see that as being one of the step changers to get us to meet our goal, not just of the 50% we're talking about, but our industry's commitment to the net carbon neutrality by 2050. Where we are now is we're now in phase two, which is a larger scale model. The wingspan is some 18 feet. What does this aircraft do? Well, one of the advantages is, you know, it, being a larger aircraft, it gives us the ability to fly a bit longer, a bit faster and a bit higher. So we really get much more data from the free flight regime. One of the key aspects now is we look at the flight controls part of it all, the control laws. This is quite unconventional shape and how it behaves in, in terms of surface input can be quite different to what we're used to. What this does is it gives us real data to go and actually optimize and configure the next uh, phase of testing in a way that really sets it aside from the future and keeps focused on our North Star of getting to the 50% net aircraft reduction of emissions. This second phase will be over multiple years. We really are approaching this in a very clear manner. We're letting the science and the physics drive us to where we need it to actually be. The entire team is really excited with our results. It's really good to be part of what we see as the future of business aviation. And after these messages, our client investment management to acquire Hartzell Aviation. Throughout the globe, 
Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Our Klein Investment Management to acquire Hartzell Aviation. Our Klein Investment Management has signed a definitive agreement to acquire Hartzell Aviation from Tailwind Technologies. Our Klein set forth, quote, as investors exclusively focused on critical suppliers to critical industries, Hartzell's portfolio of flight critical propeller and engine subsystems for a large and long-lived installed base fits perfectly with our Klein strategy. We are excited to partner with the Hartzell team to carry on its legacy generated over the past 100 years and facilitate the company's next phase of growth, end quote. Hartzell Aviation President Jim Brown stated, quote, Our family has been blessed to be the stewards of Hartzell Aviation for 37 years. As we look to the future, we believe our client fully embraces our core value, built on honor, and will bring the skills and resources to build on over a century of excellence and innovation, end quote. On July 26, 2022, Tailwind Technologies, Inc., a division of investment holdings controlled by brothers James W. Brown III and Joseph W. Brown, formed Hartzell Aviation, an amalgamated entity comprising Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Aerospace Welding, and Hartzell Engine Tech. Hartzell Aviation's flagship company, Hartzell Propeller, is a global leader in advanced aircraft propeller design and manufacturing. The company's air screws adorn a gamut of aircraft that stretches from Cessna's 172 to Lockheed C-130. The division is headquartered in Pickway, Ohio. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.